Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, we are so near the end, y'all. It's just unbelievable. Yesterday, I heard it had to have been from somebody on the Grafted In Team Jesus when we were together live, you know, where we can talk to each other. Um, that had to be where I heard it. Because somebody said that Trump made a remark during one of his announcements and I just looked him up to see if I could find that one maybe it was short something I could skim through find that statement where he said this might be the last time y'all y'all you all ever see me something to that effect if anybody heard that if you could look in your history and find the video and the an approximate minutes where he said it, I would like to add it to this video in the description box or a comment. Okay, so he says, this may be the last time you see me. Okay, I don't know what else he was talking about. Now, I want you to listen to this warning dream from the Lord, Dr. Fauci, Obama, Trump, and Waterfall from Bold Soldier for Christ. I'm going to play the dream part. Once again, it's me, Shannon Johnson, Bold Soldier for Christ, Watchman on the Wall for the Lord. Forgive me if my face looks kind of orange this morning. It's very hot out here in Southern California. The Lord came to me in a warning dream last night. And it's been a while since I've had one. But I asked the Lord to show me who this individual really was. And the dream was so intensifying that it woke me up out of my sleep. And the Lord had me write it down. The Lord came to me in a warning dream around or a little bit after 12 midnight. I walked into this building and headed towards this back room where I saw Dr. Fauci and Obama. Dr. Fauci had this evil look on his face and he was talking to Obama about putting this RFID chip into people and Obama was in agreement with him and they saw me and Obama began to swear at me and that's when the Holy Spirit took over my body and said be quiet before I cast you into the lake of fire now yeah. and before he had awakened me for some strange reason Trump was there and then he was gone just like that he was gone and I was also shown a waterfall Meaning of the dream, Dr. Fauci is one of the major characters that will help the beast Obama implement the RFID chip known as the mark of beast into people. And when Obama had saw me and he started swearing at me represents him being angry at the Holy Spirit for exposing his evil plan. And Trump, who made a brief appearance then disappeared, means that when the RFID chip mark of beast is pushed by the beast, he was nowhere to be found. And this morning the Lord was telling me, as I was sharing this with my sister in Christ, the people that he worked for, the people above the elite, they have hidden him. He has done his job. He has made, or should I say, he has paved the way for the Antichrist to come on the scene. That's why you see him playing a big part in pushing these vaccines through the military, through the military people. And the waterfall represents bodies of people that will fall and die due to this chip, Mark of the B system. Okay, I'll stop it there. I was going to stop it after the dream, but then I thought, oh, I'll just go ahead and play the interpretation because it's so important. Did you, because it ties in with what he said, what Mr. Trump said yesterday. Supposedly, I didn't hear it for myself. But I believe this person wouldn't lie. And um, that's not something you get wrong when you hear something like that. This may be the last time you'll see me. And then he gets this dream last night. And the Lord's telling him that the powers that be have hidden him. See, I thought they were... Based on another person's dream, they were it, there was going to be like an explosion. 
The smoke and mirrors would make it look like Trump died, but really he would be whisked away and put in hiding, like in his bunker. Anyway, however it happens, whether he's actually out, out of the scenes already or not, he's going to be soon. So anyway, I'm going to end it here, and I hope this helps you realize even more just what late of an hour we are in. This is August. And look at the dreams and visions that not just Dana Coverstone, but others after him that confirmed his dream about all the destruction in September. All the fires, some of them would be destructive fires, but some were going to also be Holy Spirit fire revivals. And that is what will happen after the first rapture when people's babies are taken, their spouse, their children that were still considered innocents. All the innocents, it could be adult, retarded people. Or people with CP, cerebral palsy, or um, they might have been good Christians and then got Alzheimer's and that messed their brain up. So then they got mean, but still they were serving him when they were okay. So all those people fall in the category of the innocents, okay, and they'll be gone. So it's going to cause you to either, if you're left behind, you will either get stronger with him or you will hate him. And I pray that, I, I pray that nobody turns and blames God for taking their child out of harm's way and leaving them because they've chosen to live in the world or maybe they aren't forgiving someone or maybe they need heart healing and deliverance or they're not filled with the Holy Spirit. You need your vessels full oil. Remember the parable of the ten virgins. All ten were waiting. All ten were expecting to go. They all had some oil. When you're born again, when you accept Jesus into your heart, you say, Jesus, come into my heart. Make me a new creature in Christ. I want to serve you the rest of my life. Okay, now, you get the gift of the Holy Spirit, but that doesn't mean you're filled. You don't get the gifts. You can't pray in tongues yet. Very rarely do people get completely filled with the Holy Spirit the moment they accept Jesus as their Savior. I've heard of it happening, but it must be very rare because you just don't hear of it much. I've heard, I've heard of it like on one video, and I, I don't remember if it was Sid Roth or who. I couldn't tell you. The point is, we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. So keep asking Jesus to fill you anew with his Holy Spirit. Fill your vessel. Empty your vessel of all sin and ugliness that you can think of. Okay? You want to prepare, prepare, prepare. And that's what the Lord has been trying to say through messages, through dreams, uh, the rhema word, his written word, through his messengers, through preachers, the teachers that are on fire for the Lord, like myself. I mean, I'm like, come on, y'all, let's do this. Let's get this right and let's all go. Let's all be found worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. And, um, man, when I saw this on my phone, I, I got to listen to this. And I listened to it, and I was like, 
man i gotta share this before i lay down and, and i pray that it blesses you and helps you realize how close we are to going home so with that, I'm going to say that I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over my computer and myself and the internet connection so it'll go up. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and all of your devices and all of your internet connections so you can see all the things that people are sharing, the dreams and the visions. As always... Use discernment with any prophecy. And something that I have learned lately is that you don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. I've said it before myself, but I was reminded of that. As um, Kathy and Dan say it a lot, they look at every prophecy to see what is of the Lord and what could be of the flesh or what is downright from the devil. It takes discernment. And that's why people say, be sure to take this to the Lord to get your own confirmation. Does it sit right with the spirit within you? Okay? With that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.